<laughs> my <laughs> mother is a bigger fan than I am. And I had no idea okay. when the day that we got engaged yep. and I called my mom and I was like, mom, I was like, we just got engaged. Like Tamar and proposed. Yeah. And I said, yes. And she was like, oh my gosh, make your appointment. Let's go to Clydesdale. I was like, no, wait, wait, I just what got engaged. Welcome to the Wedding Dreams Unveiled podcast. Your go-to source for insightful conversations with ordinary newlyweds and vendors navigating the difficult world of wedding planning. I'm your host, Livingston Lee, and with a decade of experience and hundreds of weddings captured, I'm here to tell you some of my stories about the wedding business. Now let's get started with today's guests. Welcome. Thank you. Tasha and Tayron. Yes. yes. Welcome to Wedding Dreams Unveiled. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you for coming up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was we was talking before the show. You guys just bought a home. Congratulations on that. Yes. Thank you. And Thank you. Um, you guys are not that far from, from York. Nope. Right. I thought you initially were coming from uh, Baltimore. Right. But I appreciate you guys coming up and, Absolutely. you know, giving us a chance to talk to other couples that are planning their weddings right now. Mm hmm. And that's what this podcast is about. It's about couples that are planning their wedding, you know, to tell them some things that you learn and some things that you would do different. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. And um, we'll get started off with if you guys want to tell us how long you've been married and how the married life has been going. <laughs> how long have we been married? <laughs> We've been married since August the 19th. Okay. 2022. Yep. 17 months. Awesome. Awesome. Well, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. A little thank bit you. past a, uh, a year, almost 18 months. Right. Yes. Almost congratulations. 18 months. That's yes. awesome. Nothing wrong yes. with that. So um, what are some of the things that um, like when it comes down to wedding, like for your wedding planning and all of that kind of stuff, what are some of the hurdles that you ran into that you would do different when you planned your wedding? Um, some of, well, I'm an event planner. Okay. So a lot of the hurdles that the typical bride would in, endure, yep. I don't endure because I'm already aware okay. of what it is that I do. Um, also, I had a vision, okay. which was very different from my husband. <laughs> <laughs> However. And we can talk about that. We can talk about that. However, yeah. um, I think that having a clear vision Okay. helps you to be able to navigate well through your process, your planning process, because okay. it is very overwhelming. Right. Very overwhelming. Yes, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that's the reason why I want to, you know, kind of talk about that, you know, because like one of the questions I want to talk about is, did you hire a wedding planner? But since you're a planner, I'm sure you didn't hire one, right? I actually hired a day of. A day of planner. Yes, yes, okay. because... Um, one of the most challenging parts for me was relinquishing the, the range. Yes. It's like, okay, I have to trust someone. Right, right. It can't be me. <laughs> I can't walk down the aisle and still get everyone together. Right. So I had to dig into that, you know, bag of treasures to say, okay, well, I will have to bring someone in to make sure that all the loose ends are covered the day of, and that we're not stressing about who's supposed to be where, what's supposed to be done, what isn't done. Right, right. Because it can be chaotic. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. So like your theme, the theme of your wedding, like what was the theme of your wedding? And like you just said, it was your, your thoughts was much different from your husband's thoughts. Yes. So how, how did that work out? Like what, what was the difference and what was the theme of the wedding and what didn't he want and what did you want? <laughs> well, I'm going to let you take that one first and then I'll follow it up. Well, I'm going to say this. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, the way she does things, mm -hmm. she goes above and beyond. And it's like, I'm going to say, oh my goodness, very extravagant. Okay, okay. Very extravagant. <laughs> so what she had in mind was a little different from what I had in mind gotcha. when it comes to financial endeavors mm. and the cost of things. Okay. So that's where the differences came. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can so understand. So his, his, uh, his vision and his idea was mm. polar opposite of my own. Okay. Yes. And the thing that um, both 
married, well, fiance, husband and wife, future to be, mm -hmm. should realize is that little boys are taught to be tough, serve and protect. Yes. But little girls always dream and fantasize. <laughs> so as a future wife, we oftentimes have to teach our future husbands how to dream in this area because we've mm. lived in this space for so long. Mm. And finally, it's like all of the ideas that we ever <laughs> wanted to do come flooding to the surface. <laughs> and you just, I mean, inspiration comes from everything, algorithms, right. mm -hmm. you Google one thing and everything comes up right. and it's like you want it all. Mm -hmm. But then you have to also lean in on that budget. So one of the things that helped us a lot was discussing the budget because mm. finances dictate everything. You can mm -hmm. dream of the world, but if you don't have the money to, to pay for it, yes. then it's not going to happen. Right. So for me, it's strategy <laughs> <laughs> because as a planner, I see beyond just the surface. Okay. And it's easy for me to say, oh, well, I can do this myself. Right. Um, for instance, and I know I'm kind of jumping a gun here. Nope, nope, you go right ahead. This is good for everybody <laughs> that's listening. One of the um, unique things that I did was I wanted to walk into my last name. Okay. So as Waters, so my mother in love, okay. his mom is a seamstress. Okay. So uh -huh. she and I actually sewed my last name in flowers on my runner. So when I came right. down the aisle, I was actually leaving right. my past and walking into my future, That's my awesome. everything. Mm -hmm. And that was very important to me. Okay. But it outside of myself, right. it was a outward demonstration and message to my future husband that okay. we're doing this. Right, right. And yeah. that was like an offering to him to say, I'm, you know, I'm right. coming into waters. I'm yeah. coming under his covering. Yeah. No, so, that was, yeah. that's, that is, <laughs> no, that's, that's great. You know, I, I like that. It's different as well. We had a past guest on and we were talking mm -hmm. about some of the things that are changing. And mm -hmm. that was kind of some of the things that, Brides are now incorporating more of their own thing into the wedding day and not such the traditional stuff. Mm -hmm. So walking into your last name is like mm -hmm. that. That is awesome. I like that. It, that's that's an idea that some of these couples out here <laughs> yes. can maybe incorporate, you know, because it, it it's not easy planning a wedding, you know. What, so one thing I will say um, going into it, I was I wasn't very up on uh, the cost. Yes. <laughs> the cost of weddings. Like, mm -hmm. it's out of sight, out of mind. You mm -hmm. may have in your mind one thing, but I think, like, the average, probably the average cost of a wedding now is probably over fifty or $60,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Easily. Yeah. Easily. 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 Mm -hmm. So, me going in, like, I never imagined that number. Right. Like, I wasn't even prepared for that number. Right, you right, right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't think we quite got up to that number. Right. But... I wasn't expecting it to be as expensive yeah. as it was. So, yeah. uh, um, but I wouldn't change a thing. Right. I mean, for all of the stress in the moments mm -hmm. that it was, yep. the reward at the end, like it, it was amazing. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I was. I was crying and I was <laughs> I, I was beating my head up against the wall when we was going through it. But when, when the wedding day came and I actually saw mm -hmm. the smile on everybody's faces, yep. I saw the look in my wife's eyes and just how the minister, our pastor, yep. Yep. the the sermon that he gave mm -hmm. over us. Yes. That was that was amazing within itself. Right. It was like we had a wedding like no other, like yeah, it was it was it was nice. It was yeah, that's, that, it that was, was beautiful. beautiful. So was beautiful. one of the um, most amazing things about our wedding that a lot of people really didn't know. Okay. And um, yeah, I'm gonna say it. So our bishop was going through mm. um, chemo. Oh. Mm -hmm. And he was taking it every day, and he had had a treatment that morning. Ooh. So we didn't know right up until two days before the wedding, mm -hmm, if he was mm -hmm. going to be able to marry us. Wow. So to see the strength of our leader, and when I say our leader, like we are covered 
under him and um, we follow him to see his strength and his courage and to be able to stand before mm-hmm. God, you yeah. know, and before us and oh, yes. just marry us. It meant so, so much. So mm-hmm. there were a lot of those types of experiences mm-hmm. that made it even that much more special, yeah. that much more emotional for oh, us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, it was just perfect. Right, right, right. It was so perfect yeah yeah and i know that's kind of cliche but no that's yeah. that's great because you know <laughs> i it when you hear about people that goes through that mm-hmm. that go through that they always talk about how much it drains you no, and he was weak like you he know, was had to very weak chair, yeah to sit down in the back behind mm-hmm. the scenes like right. he was really struggling so mm-hmm. yeah shout out to our pastor because <laughs> yes. i'm grateful yeah, that he came through and yes. delivered in yes. the clutch. Yes, that's yes. awesome. <laughs> and, so, so, and, and he was there. And yes. he, was. he was there for you guys, yes. you know, because yes. he knew that was important for yes. y'all. So yes. thank, mm-hmm. thank God for that. Yes. Absolutely. You know, thank God for that. Yes. So like as as part of your planning, as you being a planner, mm-hmm. how was it hiring a day of planner? Now, what, when you say day of planner, was it the um planner from the venue or did you hire a day of day of planner like outside of the venue outside of the venue so okay. our church the way that their services are set up is that we are assigned um two planners okay for just the ceremony oh wow and i worked very closely with them okay so when i hired my day of planner i actually had her the month before okay and i never told her i was a planner so here is the funny thing <laughs> She's like, you are the best bride I've ever had. Like, you are so prepared. The Mm -hmm. questions that you ask are so amazing. And I'm like, I have a superpower, but you don't know. So it's like, (laughs) I didn't want to say, but, you know, just it helped. I I needed her to help me. Mm -hmm. So it was easy for me to help her. I gave her everything everything right and she's like oh my gosh like all i really have to do is show up right yes right right even down to my vendors by the time that i decided to hire her i had every contract Mm -hmm. all of my deposits i had the i was proactive about paying off my balances so everything was paid off well before our wedding date so what was important to me was that the last at least 30 days, but for us, we had 60 days mm-hmm. that we had no financial stress. Wow. So toward the end, towards yes. the end. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I was able to focus on just relishing in, I'm a bride. Right. Relishing in, oh my gosh, the countdown. Yes. Oh, we have 45 <laughs> days. Oh, yes. Oh, it's 30 days. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're doing a shower. We're having this. So I had the opportunity to like really sit in mm-hmm. my moment yeah and not financially stressed that's awesome that's that's great that's great you know that that goes a long way when you're able to do stuff like mm-hmm. that you mm-hmm. know because it gives you a time like we, we talk about as photographers about just letting the bride just relax sometimes and it sounds like you had 60 days to do that mm-hmm. before the wedding even came to just you know to just to just relax and just not even worry about anything so you would have thought that i had that let me tell you (laughs) so as you alluded we Mm -hmm. decided originally we were going to have a destination wedding yes and we're going to talk about that but go ahead okay so (laughs) our plans changed within that 60 days so it was like oh things are great we have everything on paper right but when you have a destination wedding, you don't pay for anything until you arrive. Right, 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 right. And then so, we so, had to so change. So hold that thought. Yes, hold yes, that yes, thought. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, so first, before we go there, we'll go there right after this 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 question. Mm-hmm. How did you go about plan, uh, uh, hiring vendors? Like, what was the thing when you hired your vendors? Like, was did, did you think of like, hey, well, um, I want them to be this, or I want them to be that, or I want the place to be this place. Like, how did you go about hiring the place that you wanted when you were going to do a destination wedding? And then when you decided against the destination wedding, how did you go about choosing the place that you chose? Um, I thought about the experience that I wanted my guests to have. Okay. Because the ceremony is for us. Yes. 
Correct. The reception is for your guests. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Because that's the party. That's the celebration. Mm -hmm. That's the bringing the family together. Yep. So I think so far outside of myself when choosing vendors mm -hmm. and venues, I think about, well, what experience can I offer our guests from the door? Right, right. The lighting, mm -hmm. the um, the ambiance, mm -hmm. um, the feeling, you know, yep. you, you have to know the feeling that you want to have for your reception with choosing a venue. Um, the the food, of course, has to be amazing because right. yeah. with all the money that you pay, uh -huh. you definitely want the food you to better be right. have good food. I'm <laughs> yes. telling you, if your food is not good, don't compromise on your caterer. Mm -hmm. Don't compromise on your venue. Mm -hmm. Don't compromise on any of your vendors. Yep. You pay for what you pay for your piece. Yes. That's my mantra. Mm -hmm. I pay for my piece. Yes. I would rather pay someone what they feel that they're worth okay. for the services that they will provide me mm -hmm. versus trying to haggle right. and mm -hmm. pinch a penny right. because you get what you pay for. Yes. And oftentimes when you develop relationships with people, because mm -hmm. you can't help how you meet a person, right? Right. So you develop a relationship with the person. You never know how far that would take you. That's Look true. at us yeah. 17 months later yeah. doing your podcast. Yeah. And yeah. I just, when I learned <laughs> that you, when I saw your post on um, Facebook. Right. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is beautiful. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Lee, what did I say? I right. reached out. I said, Lee, when I get married, you're doing my wedding. Yes, yes, and yes. Thank so God. Yes. When you <laughs> meet good people, mm -hmm. it's a feeling. Oh, yeah. You know. Yes. You just know. Yes. But um, when you're choosing vendors, mm -hmm. ask the tough questions right right yes because this is your investment yeah. and you're paying these people to bring your dreams to reality right. and everything is in your head so yeah. if this is a piece of the puzzle yeah. that you see yeah. on your platform mm -hmm. then you put it in place <laughs> yes. if this one doesn't fit you gotta send it away <laughs> <laughs> i want to tell you also lee because I got I to gotta speak on the, on the photographer. Okay. And she came to me. She showed me the, 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 the pictures <laughs> and the costs. Uh -huh. And I said, pictures cost this much? <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, no. She said, no, this is my cousin. He does good work. And yeah, yeah. I said, all right, this family. And I looked, I said, the price. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he was Googling wedding photographers. He oh, said, hey, my goodness. this for $800. I said, well, what do you get for $800? Right, right. Yeah. What do you she get? fought for you. you I'm not, I'm, I got to tell you, she, she, she went to bed well, for you. you. She went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. So, uh, so I want to dig into something that um, Tayron said. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're family yep. didn't make you my right. photographer. Oh, yeah, right. for sure. So right. when I spoke with you and I gave you my original vision of um, yep. a destination wedding, yep. you gave me your contract. Yep. You gave me mm -hmm. your terms yep. you gave me your conditions yep. you and i did research i spoke with the um the destination the venue yep. and i asked a lot of questions yes. then i went to the budget yep. i looked at the budget and i was like is this possible mm -hmm. because we have desires yes and then we have needs so we needed a wedding photographer, mm -hmm. but I would have liked to have had this wedding photographer right. or this package yeah. or mm -hmm. this. So that's where, especially us as ladies, the yep. brides, mm -hmm. we have to really bring our emotions in and okay. say, well, let's 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 be realistic here. Right. You right. know, this is kind of this is a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's this important. And that's why I say afterwards, I wouldn't change a thing. Like, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I was really. <laughs> I was at it. Like, we was at it. <laughs> and it was, it was, and a lot of it was financial. And it right. was just a lot of, of the fact, because of the fact that I was just unaware of how much yeah. this stuff actually costs yeah. and the quality of what you get right. for what you pay for. Right, right. But the pictures are amazing. Yeah. The vendors that we chose was amazing. Yep. The yep. food was great. Yeah. Everything, it just came out perfect. So, right, right. Yes, it, yeah. it, it was it was nice. And and as a man, you know, uh, I speak as a man and right. I speak as a wedding for well, I speak as a man right now. We we don't usually keep up on that stuff right. like, like don't. women do. We don't. You know, right. as a photographer, I'm in the industry, so okay. I know. Right. You understand what I'm saying? About 
how much this stuff should cost. And we mm -hmm. had a previous guest on who was a wedding planner, mm -hmm. um, Tiffany. Uh, shout out Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Tiffany, a uh, wedding planner. Yeah, mm -hmm. she is amazing. Um, you know, she talked about it. Like like you said initially, mm -hmm. Tehran, fifty to $60,000 mm -hmm. for, for a wedding. Easy. Easy. You yep. know, so, yep. you know, it, it. as men, man, we we do not keep up with that kind right. of stuff. But but women, like like you said, uh, Tasha, it's, it's, you know, it, it's just a dream for you. It's right. ingrained Always. in us. Yeah. Yes. You know, one day I'm going to be a bride. I want to walk down an aisle. Right. It's going to be this. It's going mm -hmm. to be that. So, so I get it. What was the <clears throat> reason why, what was the reason why you chose not to have a destination wedding? Like what, what went into that reason for just saying, you know what, we're just going to do it here in the States. Family. Family. Yeah, definitely family. family. Okay. Every decision Quit. that we made, my apologies, Quit. every decision we made was based on our family, based around mm -hmm. our family. Okay. Um, Tehran and I have been together for 10 years. Okay. So we, the reception venue was always in place. Yep. After we had the destination wedding, we came home and we were going to have a reception for the family with the family right. because not everyone was going to be able to travel. Mm -hmm. And we began to just think about well who really wasn't going to be there okay. and who was important his grandmother she's in her 90s right both of my grandmothers are gone that's important mm -hmm. granny wasn't flying right yep. you know he's he has older aunts and uncles well we have older aunts and uncles and they weren't able to fly mm -hmm. so when you think about the matriarchs and the patriarchs of the family mm -hmm. they are the nucleus of what how and why we are here right you have to pay homage to them right. so that made a big difference to us yeah that was yep. that was it just that's in a nutshell. It. that's the main that's reason. the main that's reason it. that's the main yeah. reason we wanted the family and to be together flipped it like a light switch yep. like yeah. okay yeah. well we won't do that we'll yeah. still we went mm -hmm. for our honeymoon same place yep but for our um, ceremony, mm -hmm. it, it was the best decision ever. Not to have the destination. Not to have yes. the destination. Because I guess you best. had more family there yes. that can celebrate everything. Yes. Absolutely. With you, yes. Right? Yes. yes. Because mm -hmm. you figure like with a destination wedding, you are only taking, I don't know, 40 to 60 people maybe? If 75. That. Well, if we, we the package that we chose was 75. Okay. We had... <clears throat> 62 that, that were, were attending, attending. Mm, mm -hmm. okay yes so by the time that we made the decision to change yep it was like oh my gosh we are so happy <laughs> mm. like we were trying and then the thing is that's why i say um our family played a major role in our decisions even the venue that we chose when we right. were having a destination mm -hmm. i wanted a barrel star and then i figured well we can afford that yeah but is it really selfish to yeah. ask mm -hmm. someone else to come out of their pockets how do we know the financial stability of everyone mm -hmm. so i tend to think about right. a lot of people when i'm doing things anytime right. i'm hosting or putting an event together yeah i always think about my guests mm -hmm. that's important you know you that is <clears throat> like i'm glad you brought that up i want to talk about that for a little while like you don't know the financial troubles that other people are going through. You don't. Not at all. You, you know, know, it can be a burden for someone to come to celebrate your day as much as they want to. Mm -hmm. Right. It can be a burden for them because you're talking about, you know, between at least fifteen hundred to, you know, twenty five hundred dollars to go on this excursion, to go mm -hmm. on this mm -hmm. this trip or yes. this. Mm -hmm. and. and you can look at it as a vacation as well mm -hmm. for celebrating it with somebody else, but it somebody may not be ready to, to do, do that it. at that Absolutely. time. Absolutely. You Absolutely. know, so thinking about those kind of things when you do these destination weddings are great. And and you know, not in any means am I saying not to have a destination <laughs> right. weddings. I love my destination <laughs> weddings because I like to go. You know? Right, <laughs> right. And we wanted to go, so we were ready. Yeah, and like I always say, it's not a vacation because people work when you're doing these destination weddings. But, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's great to have more family there at these places so mm -hmm. that way you don't have to worry about those kind of things. Right. Correct. You know, so what was the count um, for the amount of people that you had for guests, your guest count at your wedding, just having it in the States. What what was the difference? Like if you say it was 75 for 
the destination wedding, mm-hmm. how many was it for the wedding that you had? What was it? So we had 186 guests oh, yeah. to attend. Wow. We sent out 210 invitations. Mm-hmm. 210 invitations, 186 mm-hmm. guests showed up. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's what I said. I was like, this is unheard mm-hmm. of. Yeah. Like the people everybody came and for the few that didn't come mm-hmm. of course you know we've received the phone calls unfortunate circumstances COVID was still very yes. real yep, yep. Um, if it were not them it was their um, child care mm-hmm. so they didn't have that they had it in place but of course with COVID my child my my babysitter caught COVID yeah. so now I have no one to watch the baby and it's a it's an all adult affair yeah. because this is just me yep. I do not waste money paying for children <laughs> and I do not apologize for right. saying that yeah, yeah. because it is a waste of money. The amount of money that you pay, mm-hmm. unless you are renting a venue like a hall and yep. you're provi- you're cooking the food yourself or auntie's cooking the food or something like that. Yep. If you are going to um, a venue like we went to Valley, we had our reception at Valley Mansion. No way was I paying that money for children. Right. Mm-mm. Yeah. No, I, I understand. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> you gotta pay for you gotta pay for um food for all your all your guests. You know, and so vendors. when right. Mm-hmm. So when you paying all of that stuff and you factor in kids, it, it can it get costly. Expensive. You know, one family with three kids, you know, that's that's costly. Mm-hmm. And then you figure two or three families with three kids each, that's mm-hmm. nine extra people that you know, that's that can be it adds up. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Adds up quick. Absolutely. Really, really quick. How did um, you go about like um, your um, your guest count? Like, how did you did you have a list or how did you factor in everybody that was coming, people that wasn't coming? How did you go about handling that? Like your guest count? So there were two lists. Okay. So the one list were the people who absolutely had to be there. Okay. Our family first. Yep. Mm -hmm. And very very close friends. Okay. So. The because you want to invite everyone mm-hmm. and it's okay to want everyone there because it's your special day. Mm-hmm. However, everyone doesn't see that. Yep. So the first get the first list is always who absolutely have to be there. And then when it comes to the second guest, it's who you would like to be right, there. Right, so right. I would like to invite my coworkers. Yeah. Oh, I would love to have, oh, I have a colleague or a friend from the right. other job or right, right, you know, right. just someone that I went to college with and we're not really close, but we're still in communication. Mm -hmm. I would like to invite these people. So Mm -hmm. that's the reserve list. Okay. (laughs) I like And that helps you to be disciplined and not feel compelled to, you know, go over your budget because your catering takes your budget over. That's it. Right. It's the catering. The photographer is a set price. Yes. Mm -hmm. I I agreed on this, this package. This is what I want. This is what I paid for. It's set. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That venue that you're having your reception, (laughs) it is per plate. Yes. So that's what- That can move up and down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Non-refundable. Of course, as as people (laughs) call and say, well, they are as VP, they're not going to make it or they're Mm -hmm. not going to come then we can take people off the the other list and put them in place for those. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and here's the thing, communicate with everyone. Let everyone know, um, I'm sending the invitation. If Mm -hmm. you're not able to make it, I understand, but I do have a reserve list. Also, here's the other thing that we didn't do. Um, Married couples, automatic plus one. If you were just, if you were not married, you mm-hmm. don't automatically get a plus one. Ah. Mm-hmm. And and it's not because we don't like your boyfriend or your girlfriend. It's because we have to consider all of our important people. Yes. And mm-hmm. then if we have enough um, space to invite your plus one, right. then your plus one is invited. Here's the hmm. other thing. My plus, <laughs> our plus ones were intentional. They were very specific. The invitations were written out too. If you weren't married, um, Dante and Karen. Yeah. So if it's not Karen, if Karen can't make it, <laughs> you don't have a plus one. Don't bring somebody else. <laughs> right, right, right. I got <laughs> if you. If Dante is not going to be able to make it, yeah. don't bring anyone else. Right. And, and I was very vocal about that right. because at the end of the day, it's my money. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So and it's per plate. It's mm-hmm. per plate. Yeah. And it's not about your feelings. Yep. 
This is our experience. And here's the other thought to that. And this is what um, I know I'm jumping the gun, but nope. it's on my mind. With no, the good. What word of advice would I give to um, what bridal um, and couples that are getting married? Yep. Um, if you allow everyone to have a plus one. Yep. And say you have 100 guests mm-hmm. and 50 of them, you know and they bring a plus one, you now are not emotionally connected to Um, half of your guests. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What experience are you going to have? Right. So I don't want to pay all this money for people, for strangers. Right. No, not at all. So that's good advice. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to say no to plus ones if they're not married. That's great (laughs) advice. That's great advice. Like everybody should, Listen to that advice. Like, that is great. You hear it from someone who just planned a wedding. And that is a planner as well. So, you know, that, like, hands down, mm-hmm. like, wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Did Was there anything, like, um, did you, <coughs> was there anything unique that you created into your day? Like, something that you did that was very unique that, was specific to your wedding? A few things. Okay. (laughs) So um, one of the things I did was, and I didn't get an opportunity to do, no one knew that I was going to do, I wrote a poem to my husband. Okay. And I was supposed to read it before they opened the doors and I I walked down the aisle. And because Bishop wasn't well, there were a few things that we had to cut out of our ceremony. So that was one. Um, My father is no longer with us and... His brother, my uncle, he lives in New York and he came down just to walk me down the aisle. He was like, you are my brother's daughter and I am walking you down the aisle. Wonderful. But my relationship with my mother Mm -hmm. is amazing. Okay. And it was important for me that she gave me away. So my uncle walked me down the aisle, Mm -hmm. but he changed hands with my mother and allowed my mother to give me away. So there were a lot of those key moments that... We're just personal to us. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. No, that's 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 great. That's great. How did you go about um, choosing the dress? Tell me all about the dress. Give me a story about the dress. <laughs> oh, the dress. Because I know the dress was from Klein. It was, what's that? Kleinfeld. Uh, Kleinfeld. It yes. was from there. <laughs> Tell me all about the dress. Let's talk about the dress. So let's talk about the dress. So my mother, so I'm a big say yes to the dress fan. Okay. But I watch had it all no the time. idea. She watching that reality TV. <laughs> Woo. Oh. <laughs> okay. My <laughs> mother is a bigger fan than I am. And I had no idea. Okay. When the day that we got engaged yep. and I called my mom and I was like, mom, I was like, we just got engaged. Like Tamar and proposed. Yeah. And I said, yes. And she was like, oh my gosh, make your appointment. Let's Stick, go to Clownville. I was like, whoa, wait. wait, I just what got engaged. The, the, the very next week. The very next day. <laughs> wow. Oh, she off the was field. not playing. My mother played no game. She was like, we're going to Kleinfeld. I was like, wait a minute. Whoa, hold on. She's Man. like, listen, this is the first time that I had an opportunity to be the mother of the bride. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to think about that. So here I am considering others, right? Right, right. I had to think about that. And I said, you know what? She's right. That's awesome. So to Kleinfeld, we went. Yeah. Now, where is Kleinfeld? In New York. It's in New York? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So y'all went the next week. We drove to New York. It was not the next it week. Was. <laughs> Two weeks later. It was close. It was in close proximity. Okay. They was ready. Yeah. They Three was weeks. ready. Three wow. weeks later, okay. we were at Kleinfeld. We had our appointment. Yep. And here's the crazy part about it. it there was a storm. Mm. Oh, I forgot about that. And they were closing early. I forgot about that. And they that. called the day before and they were like, that. are you able to get here earlier? And I'm like, holy night. So mm. we actually drove up the uh-huh. day before okay. and stayed in a hotel. Right. And no, no, no. Let me backtrack. We planned to drive up the day before so yeah. that we can stay in the hotel right. and got a hotel close to the um 
a close to Kleinfeld. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have to worry about traffic okay. and make our appointment. So while we were driving up the day before, they called and asked us if mm -hmm. we could come in that day because gotcha. of the storm. I mm. was like, how ironic is this seat? But because I'm overprepared, I'm always <laughs> anticipating the unforeseen. Uh -huh. We were ready. Yeah. We got there. 10 minutes, and when I say got there and found parking, right. 10 minutes before my apartment, my right. new appointment time. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. So what was that experience like? Like, you've never been to Kleinfeld before. Never. You just see it on TV. Right. What was the experience there? Was it like, oh, wow, or was it just like, this is everything I expected, or was it, this is not what I expected? Well, it wasn't anything like the television show. Okay. For many reasons. One- it's recorded and that's scheduled and planned. Yes. But two, we were still in COVID. So um, they were still restricted. So we could only have two guests with us. It right. could, we couldn't have an entourage, but it was nothing short of amazing. Yeah. When I tell you, let me tell you about this dress. So it was the third dress I tried on. Okay. And when I tried it on, I was like, okay, can we get something else? And, um, I tried on something else and my mom was like, I just really think that's it. So I was like, well, I was given the description of what I wanted mm -hmm. and I was sitting in there and they took every dress out the room except that dress. And it's like, she talked to me. She was like, hey girl. I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let's do this one more time. And I was like, okay, sure, no problem. Right, right. So, you know, we got together and we clicked and it was a thing. And I made a few alterations from the original. Okay. And... When I walked out the second time in the same dress, mm -hmm. this is how ironic, how crazy it was. Okay. Everybody that was there, the other ladies that were getting fittings, the uh, um, bridal consultants, mm -hmm. everyone. It was like I was walking in slow motion and everybody was turning and looking at me just walking through like. I was in some type wow, of runway awesome. show yeah. or something. Yeah. So when I got there and my mom was like, oh my gosh, it's the same dress. Like, and she's excited. <laughs> so I'm just keeping my composure because, you know, I want to be calm. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, well, can we do this? And can we do this? And they're tucking and everything. And mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. And I turn around and there were seven people mm -hmm. that worked there that was consultants yeah. that were standing there like that dress is meant for you yeah like yes yeah. i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> so i mean it was beautiful it was amazing yeah. um it was exciting yeah uh, i i thought that i was going to try on hundreds of dresses mm -hmm. because that's what the show says just yeah. like oh i tried on 200 dresses and i still haven't figured out what? i knew that 200 dresses Whoa. i knew the shape um that i wanted mm -hmm. i knew that i wanted to turn his head yeah. oh yeah <laughs> and then i kept thinking i was like oh and i love my shoulders so i was like oh we have to take these sleeves off i was uh -huh. like i can't do sleeves yeah. and you know, but it was just amazing right. my mother cried i was like mommy stop crying she was like but it's just so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> and this was the day when you chose the dress this was the day that i chose okay. the dress so you chose the third dress the third dress was the one for you the one for me wow yes. that's and and how many dresses like how many dresses do people usually try on 200 is a big number. 200 is a big number. It's normally around 10, maybe okay. 12 at the most. Right. And that's only if they're undecided about shape and style. Okay. Um, because we all have an idea. First of all, it's always Cinderella. That's the first. Because fairy tale okay. princess and everything. But that's when you're younger. But as you mature, then... And then you look into the style of the wedding, ambiance of wedding. Mm -hmm. Then you begin to say, oh, well, this is nice. Well, I wonder how I would look in that. Right. So when I went in, I was a blank canvas. I was like, well, I would like to see what fits me. Mm. So I made it easy for my consultants. Yeah. And it happened to be one of the dresses. And I was the first person to try the dress on mm. that I wore. Okay, nice. Yeah. How many consultants is it? Like when you get there, is it? Okay, this person is 
consultant one, they'll be doing this. This is your your person that'll be doing your alterations, or is it how how is that experience? I was assigned two consultants. Okay. And I believe that one was in training. Okay. So um This was, was doing COVID. This is doing COVID. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. So when I made the appointment, they already assigned me to a consultant. Gotcha. So um she and then she had a trainee okay. and the both of them worked with me. And what happened is when one um, when they found the gowns, mm-hmm. they had their strategy. Okay, I'll go and look for this. I'll pull this. And then they're both coming to me. Okay. And to the dressing room. So I took pictures in the dressing room. I'm like, hey, guys, I'm in Kleinfeld. Oh, and I bought my <laughs> shoes. And look at my shoes. And oh, we're doing this. You had the shoes. I bought my shoes. Well, I bought a pair of comfortable okay. heels. Yeah. Okay. Because I wanted that experience. Don't go. Um, dress shopping with flats or no shoes. Mm. Take the heights of heel that you wish to wear okay. because it gives you the feeling. Like when I put the dress on, when I put my shoes on and then I stepped into the dress, you're at regular height. Right. So then you can really see how it's going to feel on you. Okay. So you step into, it's like role playing. You're stepping into the role. Right. It's dress rehearsal. Yeah. So. Um, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's good. I mean, like. For the couples out there who are listening to this, this is what it is like to shop at Kleinfeld. You get these uh, concierge so that way they can help you. And that's the experience that you get from Kleinfeld. And for people who don't know that, it's glad that you're sharing that with them. So yes. that way they know like, all right, well, I'm, I'm going to Kleinfeld. Mm. Absolutely. You know? And they were very personal. <laughs> yeah. So when I went back to um, when my dress came in, because again, we changed the date. Okay. And I called and I said, hey, so we're gonna get married in August and mm-hmm. not October. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can we get a rush order? They were like, oh, sure, no problem. Right. Not <coughs> one issue okay. at all. But the only thing that we changed were alterations because okay. I didn't want to continue to travel back and forwards because right. I'd already been to New York. This was my third time. Right, 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 right. And everything. But my consultant, she's like, send me pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then when I went back for my fitting, she was with another client and she actually learned that I was there and she came to my dressing room. Oh, nice. Yes, she came to my dressing to room final fit. to see the final fit. Yeah. And we took pictures together. So that was really, That's really wonderful. nice yeah. for her to, you know, that yeah. was the personal experience that I that I had. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> I, I like that. That's awesome. What was uh, one of the most like memorable days of your mo- of your wedding like what do you remember the most or what was like really really memorable like tears memorable on your wedding day when they say you may kiss the bride no i'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> that was memorable yeah <laughs> memorable memorable for me was what i was explaining to you earlier mm-hmm. our pastor yep and how he spoke over us okay and how he was ailing at the time, but still delivered. Yeah. And just ministered to both of us. Even to this day, like when I talk to some of my friends, close homeboys, especially um, um, people, the Christian, my Christian brothers, mm-hmm. that's one of the main things that we talk about. Yeah. Uh, how our pastor, you know, that message that he gave for our life. Yeah. You know, that was a, that was a biggie. For yeah. me. And you know, that was it was very special, a special moment. Mm-hmm. And the one thing that I wish we would have done mm-hmm. outside of photography was yep. videography. Videography? Yes. yes. We definitely Let's talk about that. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Let's talk about That's that. That's on me. I dropped the ball. Yeah, yeah. I dropped the ball. So yeah, right. you you wish you had got a videographer. Yes. So for everybody listening, you know, I'm a photographer. Yes. That's but important. we hear that a lot from couples is I wish we would have got a videographer. Yes. And the reason that you wish you would have got a videographer is why? Just so like you can sit around and just reflect. Okay. That. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, you can go back and look at the pictures. Yep. But they don't move. They don't move. That's you, when you, I got right, a, I right. had, we got a guest <laughs> right. on. I mean, right. not a guest, but a vendor who's a videographer. And he said that. Yes. He said yes. pictures don't yes. move. They don't move. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, the pictures are nice. Yep. Um, they're amazing. Mm-hmm. But I just think to have the video, especially 
of how awesome the whole ceremony and everything was. Yep. Like to not have that on video to where mm -hmm. you can go back years later and just probably show the grandson when he yeah. get older uh -huh. you know, or the yes. kids or whatever the case may be. Yep. You know, as you get older, like I really wish we would have did a video. Okay. Yes. All right. So, yes. Yes. Lesson yes. learned. I yes. did a video stock. Hey, guess <laughs> if you had <laughs> videos of, and, and my brother sent a video of me walking down, that was very, very important to me because okay. I didn't see me walk down. Right. I, I was at the rehearsal. That's I saw right. everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, the day before the ceremony, the wedding, when my decorator was decorating the um, space, mm -hmm. the chapel, I had an opportunity to do a dress rehearsal with my walk. Okay. Because you, the bride doesn't walk down the aisle at the rehearsal. I don't care what anyone says. The bride does not walk down the aisle at the rehearsal. And don't let them play your song mm -hmm. at the rehearsal. That is very, very intimate, personal. And it is for your future husband. Okay. And husbands, listen to the words <laughs> <laughs> because we picked that song purposefully right. and it's intentional. So that was something that was, you know, yeah. that we had. So my brother took amazing video of mm -hmm. three things. One, me walking down the aisle. Mm -hmm. Two, the surprise dance that my wedding, my bridal party did for my husband, okay. which was <laughs> yeah. amazing. He yeah. was like, wait, why are you sitting down? <laughs> right. And I'm looking at the DJ like... <laughs> <laughs> And um, our first dance, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my husband didn't know anything about this um, cool smoke and sparklers. Oh, wow. So I was walking on cloud nine. Walking right, right, right. on cloud nine. <laughs> yeah. So those things were very, very memorable for us. So I watch my video all the time. My brother right. sent it to me. I watch them all the time. Yeah. Watching the video brings you back because I want to say this. As you... <clears throat> Once you be once the pageantry mm -hmm. settles yep. and you get into real life yeah. and you move from the honeymoon through the honeymoon phase mm -hmm. and then you start doing real life. Well, watching those videos for me brings yep. me back. Mm -hmm. It snatches me right back into that moment. And I remember why I love my husband. Mm -hmm. I remember how he loves me. Mm -hmm. I remember how I love him. I remember the commitment that we made to one another before God, because right. that was the purpose of the ceremony. Absolutely. It's not just something to do. Absolutely. We were, we decided that we wanted to present one another to God and say, I choose him. I right. choose her. Bless us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what looking at, the videos will give you right mm -hmm. and listen to your wedding music i still listen to my wedding music really i still listen <laughs> to my wedding music to this day uh -huh. and whenever i'm having a challenging day that brings me to a place of happiness it brings me to a place of wholeness to be able to say that we share a moment we share a thing mm -hmm. that no matter what i'm going through in life right. i can listen to this song i can watch this video and it's it's okay wow wow that is us this is such great advice for all couples ah this is this is great this is really really great were, were there any unexpected surprises on your wedding day or as you was planning that set you back a little bit? Hmm. For, for me, I kept getting like these crazy phone calls leading up to the actual wedding. My sister broke down. Mm -hmm. She was stuck in traffic on 83. It mm -hmm. was kind of like. It, I was just on edge. Like, are they even going to make it? Right. Are they going to be there? Yeah. It was little things, but it just all worked itself out. Everything kind of like just smoothed out. Everybody made it. Everybody calmed down. Mm -hmm. Is you nervous? I'm gonna yeah. tell you. <laughs> yeah. Then I roller skate real heavy. That's yeah. what I do. I'm okay. a skater. So that cool. morning I got up early. 
and I had to get my skate on. That that just releases. <laughs> that releases, yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, some people play basketball. Some yeah. people go to the gym. I, I used skate. to ride motorcycles, man, right. and dirt bikes and all that stuff. Right. So, yeah. Right. It, it's I definitely, skate. you get your stress relief on, <laughs> right. you know? Yeah. So, once I so did you did that, that the morning I of your wedding? I did that the morning of. Wow. Yes. Now, see, I would have been afraid to do something like that because. I Injury. Have, I, yes. And I always, mm. I got friends mm-hmm. who. Say, hey, let's do this or let's right. do that. Or and I always think about my wedding couples and say, I can't do that because I'm contracted to do a wedding. To mm-hmm. be honest I can't with you. Tear ACL or you know <laughs> right, what I'm saying? Yes. I can't do right. any of that. You know, right. I gotta be so as you know, because God forbid right. and nothing happened, right. but if something would have happened, man. <laughs> It's just what I've been doing it for so long. Like yeah. you don't even think about that. Right. You right. know? Yeah. It's like I could really walk on them skates. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that's how long I've been skating. So, so. you like the like the movie that T.I. played yeah, in. Yeah, you yeah. like that? Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. Yeah, I skate like yeah. I wow. skate heavy. Heavy. Yes. We that's good. Exercise. It's great exercise. Great exercise. Yeah, it's great yes. exercise. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome, man. I didn't know that. Yes. Yes. That's, that's do do you get out and skate with them? I do, but when, so we travel to skate events mm-hmm. and when I tell them, babe, we have to get there early <laughs> so that I can skate <laughs> because they come out and they skate really late. Now I love the pageantry of it. So I'm in awe. I'm just looking. Right. I'm just looking. Yeah. So I skate, but not as well as he does. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. I won't fall. Right. But. I don't do tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what, I always wonder how people do that. So mm-hmm. we had to talk about that. After, yes, after yes, yes, yes. How did y'all handle like any disagreements that came about? Now I know we talked about that in the beginning a little bit, but any? Can you tell us a, a, about one of the times when it was a disagreement and how y'all handled that disagreement? Just you know, a real quick, just anything. <laughs> It was a lot of disagreements, a okay, lot. but it's it's normal, right? And the reason why it's normal because we're two different people mm-hmm. with two different ideas, yes, come from two different backgrounds, and you just have to take every disagreement as a grain, not not as a grain of salt, but you have to kind of like it's just like going through marriage, like mm-hmm. you're gonna have your ups, your downs, yep. You're not gonna agree on everything, right? It's a lot of compromising, um. So I just said we took every disagreement one step at a time and just yeah. worked through it okay. the best we could. Okay. I'm not going to tell you that it was always easy. Right. But we got through it. Right. We just got, we got through it. That's good. You know, that's good. With the help of the Lord. With the help of the Absolutely. Lord. Absolutely. Yes. So the other thing you want to consider um, are falling into your strengths and weaknesses. Um, one of my husband's strengths are he's very disciplined financially. Okay. As am I, but he is like laser yeah. focused. However, I am extremely creative mm-hmm. and I work budgets like no other. Okay. So what I do with money, he yeah. can't imagine. Right. So he had to trust me mm-hmm. and say, okay, babe, you know what? I'm just not doing this anymore. You just do what you want to do. <laughs> and when he did that, the stress just kind of went down. But I'm going to tell you one of the most um, beneficial things that got us through is therapy. I had a therapist. Okay. So I, I didn't want to, I couldn't talk to my mom. I couldn't talk to my girlfriends because they're in it, right? <laughs> right. Um. Well, it was us going through. So. Mm-hmm. To have that third party, a neutral party, to be able to talk to, mm. to work me through my frustrations, right? to help me to see his perspective, yep. um, even sometimes to give me the words to say, because I think I'm saying it right, mm-hmm. and then I'm really not, right. and then he's receiving what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and I, the communication mm-hmm. was off. So mm-hmm. my therapist really, really helped to keep me grounded right. so that I can say, okay, I hear you. I understand. Okay. But will you trust me? I got us. That's awesome. Because we decided early on we were not going to be wedding poor, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that everything was going to be paid for Mm -hmm. before Mm -hmm. we said I do. Right. And we stuck to that. And everything happened. It was just a little shaky because he didn't know how it was going to be done. (laughs) But (laughs) that's the one thing that we committed to that early on, very Mm -hmm. early on. Right. And we didn't deviate from that. Okay. That's, that's great advice. Is it is it any advice if you gave three if you gave 
advice to a wedding couple that's planning their wedding right now. And you said three things. Here's what I would say to look out for and what not to do. What would those three things be? What not to do? Yeah. Like, Mm -hmm. was it, you know, like you said, one of the things was paying for all your vendors so you won't be wedding poor. Yes, mm-hmm, that's you know. major. Yeah. We didn't use credit cards. Right. We right. literally like, set a cash budget. Yep. And we came together. It wasn't, oh, my husband's paying for the whole wedding. No, we decided before we were even engaged Mm -hmm. that we weren't going to ask anyone for anything, that we were going to pay for everything. Mm -hmm. And we we stuck to that. So um, don't take it upon yourself to alienate your partner. Okay. Because they can't meet you where you are. Right, right, right. Um, Meet them where they are and come together and find that common ground because there's no right or wrong. Right. Mm-hmm. It's just perspectives. Yeah. Right. And be willing to compromise. Don't be so closed in your thoughts, in your ideas that you won't open up to say, oh, well, let's do this. Because mm-hmm. if my husband never said, babe, you know what? I'm going to just leave it alone. We would not have had the wedding that we had. Okay. Because I would have been stuck with, okay, but I know I can do it. You just got to <laughs> trust me. You know, so it was right. easy, yeah. you know, to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say one of the things that helped us, um, we originally were planning the destination wedding and the reception here, Mm -hmm. have a backup plan. Okay. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Like this is your idea. This is ideal. And this is your dream. Okay. But if one thing does not go well, Mm -hmm. what's your backup? Yep. If there is, if something changes and I'm talking about major changes, for instance, I'm grateful that it didn't happen. But if we were planning a destination wedding mm-hmm. and one of our relatives passed away, yep. you know that we would have lost that money right. because family over everything. Yep. So mm-hmm. you have to make sure that you put yourself in the best position that you possibly can mm-hmm. and have a backup plan right. because nothing is going to go as planned. Nothing is going to go okay. as planned. Yeah. Something's always going to, going to happen. Yeah. You just hope that it's not major. Wow, that's great. And the only thing I would have to add would would be to, to the fellas. Let's go out to the fellas. Okay. Shout out to the fellas. Y'all listen up. Do your homework. Just okay. get educated if you're not educated. Yeah. On the wedding process, okay. The costs, yeah. You know that's major because, like I say, and then communicate with your wife ahead of time, okay, so that you can have an idea where their head is. Right. They can have an idea where your head is. Okay. In reference to going into how you want to plan, right? Because so in your mind, you might say. We really don't even need a way. We can go to the courthouse. Mm-hmm. That might be how you think it. That might yeah. be sufficient enough for you. Yeah. It may not be sufficient enough for her. Right. Or you you might say, well, we could pull a wedding off for like $10,000. Mm-hmm. But if a, the wedding that she really wants and the vendors, mm-hmm. I mean, you haven't even looked into it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. So you given an unrealistic number mm-hmm. based off of how you feeling as an individual. Yeah. Not to say that you don't want to provide the wedding for your wife, but you just like, if you don't have a clue right. what these things cost, you just mm-hmm. really don't have a clue. It's true. So then yeah. that's when it, the stress come. Cause you done said, I, you done, you done propose. <laughs> <laughs> you looking to go forward. And then the next thing you know, you getting hit like, well, I didn't even know that it was going to be this. So that, right, right, like, right. And, and that's when it all starts. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. find ways to right. um, cut costs. <laughs> like, although I'm a planner, um, I did my own bouquets. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't use real flowers because I thought of allergies. Yep. So many people have allergies oh, to yes. um, real flowers. So yep. um, I still had my beautiful bouquets and um, I just made just so many things. Yes. But that was therapeutic for me. Right. It was. It was just like, oh, I'm making this for my wedding. That's because you're a planner. And you also like to do that creative stuff. Absolutely. Because I know you got like the the cake business as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yes. you got a couple of things that you're doing. You got yes. the book. Yes. Mm-hmm. Balloon you know. Artistry. Uh, what's the name of the book? Balloon. Oh, Fallen Hero, Broken Family. Okay. So you got the book. You got the <laughs> you got the, uh, the the cake company. Yes. And you're doing planning. So you yes. got a you got a little bit of everything. So planning the wedding was 
therapy for you, like you said. Oh, it was stressful. Yeah. No, because <laughs> let me tell you, when you're planning someone else's event, that's easy. Right. Because they make the tough decisions. I had to choose the colors. Well, thank you, honey. He picked out the colors. <laughs> now, okay. it was just like bringing them together. And I was like, oh, you know, I think I want this versus that. And okay. he was like, okay, that's fine. But when I had to make the decision on how I wanted my ladies to wear their hair, I was like, what? I have to make the decision? But I'm used to being on the end of saying, well, you need to tell your ladies how you would like them to wear their I hair, the nails, what shoes. And yep. I'm sitting here like, oh, my gosh, I am them. Right. <laughs> I got to do this now. Yes, I, gotta do I have this. to make yeah. every decision for everyone. And, um, oh, here's the other thing. Don't tell people your wedding colors they will come dress like they are in the wedding party <laughs> I, my invitations wow. so i did two invitations well we did two invitations one um our primary invitations were for our um family and the intimate guests okay. and then we had a secondary invitation for the extended list okay to cut costs right but the paper it was really nice but the paper invitation was an off color. They weren't my wedding colors. Mm. Do you know how many people came with those colors of that invitation on? Wow. So do not give people your wedding colors. Mm. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Listen up, y'all. Don't do it. Don't give them your wedding co colors. Unless that's your desire. So yeah. if it's a theme, then of course, that's perfect. Yeah. But I think that, and this is just my opinion, I think it's disrespectful okay. to mm. attend a wedding and wear white. Okay. Because who's supposed to be wearing white? The, the 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 lady of the hour. Yeah. And to wear the wedding colors because it takes away mm -hmm. from the ambiance mm -hmm. and the presentation of because we work so hard yeah. to come together and pull these ideas and this look together. And um for your groomsmen and your um, bridal party to come in and everyone is dressed right. like they're dressed. Mm -hmm. It just takes away for me. Well, I think you. it's tasteless. I'm with you. I'm, and listen, I never yeah. thought of it that way because I'm always on the side of the vendor when it comes to this. Mm -hmm. So I never, all of this is news and great news and ideas for me. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. <laughs> even though I'm married already, but it's I can now, because I always tell couples from my side of it as the photographer, mm -hmm. here's what you should do. Like I help with planning a wedding, mm -hmm. especially when they don't have like a wedding planner or something like that. I tell them, hey, you need to do this, this and this, mm -hmm. you know, so that's just part of of helping out. So that way we can make sure we got enough time as a photographer and all of that. But hearing it from the couple side is great. Mm -hmm. And this is what I want this podcast to be for. Mm -hmm. People that's planning a wedding, all of the information and insight that y'all gave today is great. Mm -hmm. So this will be this will be great for a couple that they can say, oh, did you hear what she said? Don't right. do this. Or she'll look at her fiance and say, didn't I tell you? <laughs> yeah, I told you. They said, don't do this. Right. And that's what you So that no, was that's us. great. That was us. Yeah. As we learned, you know, and then he's like, babe, you know what? You were right. Yeah. You were right. The, the photos. He was like, when we got our photo album, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we saved our um, larger albums to our for our first anniversary and that's okay. what we, we we did we went to we were gifted one photo album yep. we purchased two more because mm -hmm. that's how many pictures we had they right. were amazing yeah but we sat at a restaurant mm -hmm. on our wedding anniversary. on our wedding anniversary yep. and we put our wedding album together and nice. we relived the entire mm -hmm. day that is and awesome that was so beautiful like when i say relive like my here i was like oh my gosh i'm crying like i'm emotional <laughs> because it was just so beautiful yeah yeah. So, yeah, I mean, even with that, when we were looking at the um, photos and my husband mm. was like, babe, he was like, I'm glad you fought me on this because <laughs> this was worth it. Yeah, it's all worth it. Yeah. When, it, when it was all over, when it was all over, all my homeboys, they kept calling me. And I'm talking about months later, like this, that was the best wedding I've ever attended. Yeah. When you mm -hmm. get that. It was nice. Yeah. When you really get that. <laughs> I was there. Right. So it was nice. <laughs> It was like even like the Granny. The what recital. did Granny say? 
Granny said that was the was best it, wedding yeah, I've ever was, been yeah, to. Yeah, Ninety three yeah. years yeah. old. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yes, the best wedding. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. Okay, yes. thank you. Yeah, that's great. Yes, that is. I great. mean, everybody danced. I've been going to a lot of weddings. What in the last two years? Mm-hmm. People, people don't dance at weddings mm-hmm. no more like they used to. Yeah. The they dance party. Yeah. They party. Yes. Yeah. They literally like they was at the club. Like yeah. They party. Right. Yep. 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 In the dance battles. Yes. We were sitting looking at the dance battles. My so cousin. I, I'm yep. on the dance ministry at church. <laughs> so my dance ministry sisters and my dance ministry yes. leader, they were dancing against the the uh, groomsmen and yes. it was just a battle. And then yeah. you it's a battle here. Okay, you turn around, it's a battle here. Then the older people, it's a battle. I was like, Everybody wow. And then party. his favorite song come on and he come and find me. It was so beautiful. Yes, it yeah. was a rush. And I hope that every bride and groom experiences ex, get to experience this. Yeah. Because after it's all said and done, we have these memories that yeah. we can share. And yeah. he's mm-hmm. like, babe, remember when? And I'm like, oh, babe, remember when? <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's priceless. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. No, that's mm-hmm. that's great. Well, thank y'all for coming on. I definitely appreciate it. Y'all gave a lot of insight today. I'm sure that brides, well, not brides, couples. I always say brides. I mean couples. Sorry. (laughs) I'm sure couples will find this very, very insightful. This will be on YouTube as a video. It'll be on Spotify as a video or just for audio podcasts. It'll also be on uh, Apple Podcasts. And uh, all of the places where you can get your podcast, it'll be there for all of the information that you want to hear for what you should and shouldn't do um, as a wedding couple and planning your wedding. So thank you. I appreciate you guys coming thank on. You. Thank and you. We're going to end it here. Peace out. And thank you for listening. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>